paint and cut the body panels. I am not only a bad painter, but I'm actually probably the worst painter that you'll ever meet in your life. But I just used a single color, um, went ahead and painted it up, and hopefully some stickers will make it, uh, make it look a little better than just a black body. But if you don't have a pair of Lexon scissors, now is the time to get them. The Lexon that they use on these is very, very, very thick. What I've done is I've painted them, and you want to note the direction uh, when you paint them. This unit you're going to want to paint from the underside so that uh, the paint is not on the top but on the bottom. On the dashboard, you're going to want to paint it from the inside. And the hood from the inside and also the top from the inside. All of the parts on the outside have a plastic coating on them to keep them from getting messed up and you're going to want to peel that off once you're happy with your paint job. So you're going to peel those off make sure you get it all off little pieces can stick on there and if we're using stickers then it can get in the way so just be really careful when you peel them off everything looks all nice and shiny now I've also gone ahead and you're going to notice little dimples in all of the parts and that those are actually screw holes to help hold them on. I use you can use a punch, you can use a little nail. I used a Dremel tool with a very small bit in it and I went ahead and punched out all of the holes so that we can get our screws through. And on this side here we had to Dremel out a little area for our on. So we have switch. the two units here ready to go. Here's our sticker sheet. We're going to follow along with the directions, and it's going to show us exactly where to put Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, it was really nice. All the decals were die cut, and they are actually in perfect, perfect size for where they belong. They were not difficult to put on at all. If you have trouble putting stickers on, uh, you can spray some soapy water on both the back of the sticker and also on the, the place where you're going to put it, and that way you can slide it around a little bit, and then you can squeegee it out or you can just uh, do it raw like I did and just pop them on and they were actually very very easy and then this is the set for the dashboard and at this time also I'm going to make sure that my holes line up that I made for the dashboard onto the main area that'll make it easier getting on later so you can get your holes right Let's go ahead and skip over putting the body panel stickers on. I'm going to wait to do that until after I'm done building. I just prefer to do it that way. So let's go ahead and get all of our pieces and parts together and start putting the interior in place. And that's step number 32. So we'll be right back. All right, on to step 32. We actually have a lot of stuff going on here, so let's try to move through it fairly quickly. We're going to put our seat together and very simply goes top slides into the bottom. Um, you do have a choice of, of how you far you want to lean the seat back. We're going to put it in the all the way forward position. Uh, you're going to use the longest screws that you have. If you take a look at your directions, they are a 12 millimeter and those go into the seats. And there's just two of them. Put those on. Next thing that we're going to do is to mount the seat onto our inside of our cab. Pretty straightforward. These two screw holes on the bottom are going to align with these two screw holes here. We're going to use two different size screws. We're going to use a 10 millimeter in the back 
and a four millimeter in the I'm sorry a six millimeter in the front uh, you can see that the, the seat thicknesses is different from the front to the rear and we don't want a screw to poke through each one of those screws is going to have a little bevel washer on it and those were on the same rack as your seat come on focus in here oh well it's just a little bevel washer so I'm going to take the longer one towards the back we're going to put the bevel washer over I'm going to slide this up through the hole that we've made actually we're going to screw it into the hole that we made I made my holes a little bit smaller than the screw which is a good thing so we're going to put that up in there go ahead and grab the seat actually I'm doing that backwards the thicker longer screw goes towards the front so we'll put that in again give it another whirl here line that up and bolt it in you don't need to crank on it just till it touches and it's snug we're going to align the second hole up from the back which I have to say the alignment nubs that were given to us uh, in the plastic line up very very well alrighty so we're gonna put this together The next part that we're going to work on is putting the shifters in. And there are two shifters. We have a double shifter and a single shifter. We're going to put both of those on. One thing that I do want to mention is all of these parts are on the same rack. The part numbers on my manual are wrong. Uh, so we're just visually going through and just looking at each piece and putting them on and it's working out well for us we didn't didn't run into any surprises so the double shifter is going to go into the center portion here there's two locator pins on here and those are going to go in and we're going to put a screw in from the bottom in the center here and we're going to use one of these little pieces here which has a place for the screw hole in the center and on each side is a place for the locator pins so we're going to grab on this one one of our teeny tiny little screws we're going to put it up through here like so see if we can hold this and do it in front of the camera or not I'm going to get that screw started in there and then at that point I'm going to swing this around so it captures the locator pins Captures the locator pins and then screw it in. You don't want to screw it in too much. I almost over screwed it in. You can see that it's starting to fold up a little bit. So I just loosened it up a tad. So now we have the single or the double shifter in there. We're going to do the same with the single shifter. Uh, however, it's going to use just a little bevel washer. Getting inventive on how to hold stuff down while I screw it in so the camera can see it. Oh, 
you'll screw that in just till it touches. on a little crooked, we'll straighten it out. And now that one's on. We've got shifters. Okay, I think that's all that we're going to do to this portion at the moment. So the next part we're going to work on is going to be the dashboard and we're going to put in the little holding bar and note the location and how it goes on and it's going to go on with the little handhold area pointed towards the shorter end and we're going to put a screw into this one as well as one of the little bevel washers bevel washers are so the screws don't pull through the dashboard parts are so small for me to see <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't no fist scale Come on, get started. Doesn't want to get started. There we go. Alright, so we're just going to put that on until it touches. You can see it in the back. Let's see how it looks on the front. Next is going to be the steering wheel column. This is pretty straightforward. Again, there's locator pins on there, just like there was on the double shifter. And we're going to want to use the portion that has the flat spot is going to go up. That's where the steering wheel goes on. So that pokes through the bottom. You see the little locator pins there, and the flat portion is going to go up. Now the fun part is to get this all together. You may not be able to do it on camera, but we're going to give it a shot here. Grab one of our little screws, and again we're going to use the little backspacer here that... Uh, Come on, focus. We're going to use that little backer on there. Let's see if we can get this in gracefully. There we go. We're going to get it started. Then we're going to locate our, make sure it's positioned over our locator pins and then we'll finish tightening it down one thing I'm noticing for our next step that I don't have in front of me right now is some CA glue and we're going to use that CA glue to glue the steering wheel on this is what it's going to look like so far. And now I'm going to go get some CA glue. <laughs> 